63-year-old Wendy Churchill's world crumbles as she battles a debilitating condition abandoned by her self-centered son, Michael, who didn't want to help when his mother was wheelchair-bound and couldn't walk. But little did Michael know what fate had in store for him and the stunning revelation that would leave you utterly shocked. Get ready for a captivating journey that will keep you on the edge of your seat until the very end. Wendy Churchill, a resilient and kind-hearted woman in her early 60s, had always been a pillar of strength for her community. Her son, Michael, on the other hand, was a charming but self-centered real estate agent in his late 30s, relentlessly pursuing success at the expense of his relationships. Wendy had been battling a mysterious numbness in her legs for over a year. At first, it was a minor inconvenience, but as time went on, the episodes became more frequent and debilitating. One day, Wendy's legs gave out entirely, leaving her stranded on the floor, desperate for help. The neighbors rushed to her aid and called Michael, who begrudgingly showed up and took her to the hospital. The diagnosis was grim, a rare nerve compression syndrome that left Wendy wheelchair-bound. Despite her undying hope and countless physiotherapy sessions, her condition showed no signs of improvement. As the medical bills piled up, Wendy turned to Michael for support, only to be met with cold indifference and excuses. Frustrated by his mother's persistence in seeking treatment, Michael dismissed her concerns, citing his demanding schedule and the importance of selling houses. Wendy endured each car ride to the hospital, suppressing her tears as her son's insensitive remarks pierced her heart. She felt alone, betrayed by the very person she had devoted her life to raising. With no other options left, Wendy Churchill found herself standing at the entrance of their beloved family home, the place that held countless memories and the symbol of their shared history. The weight of her decision pressed heavily upon her heart, as she knew that selling the house was her last chance to obtain the funds for the life-changing surgery that could potentially restore her ability to walk. As she looked around the rooms, each corner seemed to whisper stories of joy, laughter, and even moments of sorrow. Tears welled up in her eyes as she bid farewell to the familiar surroundings, clinging to the hope that this sacrifice would pave the way for a brighter future. Throughout her journey, Wendy had the support of her closest friends, a group of remarkable individuals who became her pillars of strength. They rallied around her, offering encouragement and helping whenever needed. Together, they formed an unbreakable bond, forging a support network that not only sustained Wendy through the challenges, but also reminded her of the power of genuine friendship. Their unwavering presence and dedication became a source of inspiration, fueling her determination to overcome any obstacle that came her way. Meanwhile, Michael, consumed by his own desires and ambitions, remained oblivious to his mother's struggles. Selfishly focused on his own life and priorities, he didn't bother to spare a moment to visit his mother during her most trying times. Oblivious to the depth of Wendy's pain and the enormity of her sacrifice, he recklessly sped down the road with his girlfriend by his side. The wheels of his new sports car spun out of control, shattering the facade of his self-centered existence in a devastating instant. After the crash, his girlfriend emerged with only mild injuries. Still, Michael's life hung precariously in the balance as he was rushed to the hospital in critical condition. As Michael gradually emerged from his unconscious state, his eyes blinked open, struggling to adjust to the harsh hospital lighting. Confusion gripped his mind as he took in the sterile surroundings, unsure of what had transpired. And then, in that vulnerable moment, his gaze fell upon a figure standing beside his bed, his mother, Wendy Churchill. The sight of her standing, no longer confined to a wheelchair, filled him with astonishment and disbelief. Wow, Mom, you can walk now? He managed to utter, his voice filled with a mixture of awe and regret. A bittersweet smile graced Wendy Churchill's lips as she replied, her voice tinged with a hint of sadness. Yes, son. If you had come to visit me, you would have known this. But it's okay. I'm more worried about you, my son. Michael's eyes searched the room, the realization dawning upon him that his girlfriend was nowhere to be seen. A pang of loss coursed through his heart, mingling with the overwhelming weight of his physical condition. His voice quivered as he asked, Where's my girlfriend? 
Wendy Churchill's eyes glistened with unshed tears as she gently squeezed his hand. Oh, my beautiful son, I'm so sorry, but she left you. She couldn't handle the responsibility, she uttered softly, her voice brimming with empathy. Michael's eyes widened in confusion, his mind racing to comprehend the gravity of the situation. What do you mean, the responsibility? His mother's grip on his hand tightened, her eyes filled with a mixture of compassion and sorrow. Son, there's something you need to know. You were in a very bad car accident and you have broken your back. You're never going to be able to walk again. You have no feeling from the waist down. Shock coursed through Michael's veins, his breath catching in his throat as he absorbed the life-altering news. His dreams of success, his self-centered pursuits, all came crashing down instantly. The gravity of his mother's sacrifice and her unwavering support suddenly became crystal clear. Tears welled up in his eyes as he whispered, I can't feel my legs. What happened to me? Wendy Churchill's voice trembled with emotion as she leaned closer, her voice filled with love and determination. I'm sorry, son, but it's the reality. You were seriously injured. But it's okay. We will get through this together, and I will be with you every step of the way. As Michael stared into his mother Wendy Churchill's teary eyes, he felt a rush of remorse flood through him. But I was so horrible to you. I'm so sorry. Why would you want to even help me? He whispered, his voice trembling with regret. With a tender smile, Wendy gently brushed a hand against his cheek. A mother's love for her child, no matter how old they are, is so strong that I'll be there for you no matter what, she said, her voice filled with love and compassion. In that moment, Michael realized the depth of his mother's love, and a profound sense of gratitude washed over him.